I'm Ashley the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is part two of um, a video I made earlier. I am using these felties that I made on my embroidery machine to make a cute custom bow. I made this ribbon out of white ribbon, guys. So I'm using sublimation and embroidery to make a completely custom bow. If you wanna see how I made this custom bow, stay tuned. Okay, so what we're gonna need to get started, we are gonna need some white ribbon. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. It is 100% polyester, two inches by four yards, the Ribbon Boutique, $3.99. Make sure you get it when it's half off. So this is what it looks like. Then we are going to use our sublimation printer. I have the Sawgrass SG-1000 printer. Um, I love this one because it goes to 11 by 17 paper. So we're using the printer. We're using our old faithful butcher paper. We're using lots of that today. Then we're using our heat resistant tape. This is not normal tape. This is special tape that is made to be used with the heat press. Finally got myself a dispenser and I will say it was really nice to use it versus cutting each one. Then we're gonna use our Heat Press Nation Pink Craft Pro 15 by 15 heat press. You know I love this thing, it's pink, it's beautiful. We're gonna set it to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So we're gonna print our designs on our sawgrass printer on 11 by 17 paper, which you'll see. Sublimate the ribbon. Some other things we're gonna need today is our glue gun, Hobby Lobby. Some little alligator clips. These are all from Hobby Lobby as well. Just look in the ribbon section, they'll have the clips and the glue gun. We're gonna use a lighter to seal the ends of our ribbon. We're also gonna use um, some needle and thread to make our ribbon. Then we're gonna use the felties that we made in the last tutorial, okay? I'll link to that video right here so you can watch that if you wanna learn how to make the felties. All right, so let's get started. So today we are gonna make our own ribbon for our custom hair bow. I can't wait to show you guys. So what we're gonna do is I found um, some digital paper on Etsy. Sometimes they call it scrapbook paper. Sometimes they call it digital paper. It's kind of like fabric, but the digital version. And I have way too much digital paper. So you can make fabric, you can make your own ribbon, there's so many things you can make. You can make your own vinyl with these patterns. So this is from Huckleberry Hearts on um, Etsy. I love them. They have fun, colorful patterns. So I bought their Valentine, one of their Valentine's bundles and I'll link it below. I mean, I was feeling the pink and red hearts. Okay, so I've gotta change my paper real quick. I have my heat press heating up and we're gonna go ahead and make custom ribbon um, for these hair bows. All right, let's print it out and then we'll get to pressing. Okay, so I am following a tutorial. It's just, I, you know, I had to do my own thing. So I'm going to cut four 10 inch strips. So if you're making one bow, cut two 10 inch strips. If you're making two bows, like piggy tail bows, make four 10 inch strips. And you're gonna see, um, what, see what I mean in a second, okay? And now, if you weren't doing a felty in the center, um, you would need a smaller width, like a 3 8 ribbon, to tie the center, but it's gonna be covered anyways, so I'm just going to not, to skip that part, okay? So we have our four strips. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do with these ribbons, I am going to pre-press them. Not sure if it's necessary, but just in case, okay? Just gonna pre-press them and then I'll also kind of straighten any of the wrinkles out. And I'm probably gonna put a piece of butcher paper over here. Okay, so what I did was I, um, so I just pre-pressed these ribbons. Don't know if it's super necessary, but I figured go ahead and get the wrinkles out. So I have a piece of butcher paper underneath and I am going to place the ribbon. I'm gonna tape it and I'm gonna pre place it so that the paper is on top and the ribbons below, okay? So let me do that real quick. Okay. 
All right, so everything looks somewhat straight, and so I have it taped down, so I'm gonna place it. I probably should tape it more, but I'm gonna just go with it. And I'm gonna place it on here. Just make sure all the stuff is out, okay? So ribbon side down, the paper's on the top, the ribbon's on the bottom. I've got my butcher paper underneath to protect my heat press. We're gonna place our butcher paper on top, and we are going to do 400 for 60 seconds, and I just have it like normal medium pressure. Okay, let's see. Oh, that worked so good. So the key is to have the paper on top, the ribbon below, okay? Look how cute. All right, so that technique worked great. So I don't know what it is, but put the paper on top, the ribbon below, make sure you tape, and voila, beautiful custom ribbon. I mean, you could do so many things with this. You could do monograms, names, um, bows to go with your collections. If you can't find ribbon, you can supplement your own ribbon to go with, say you're making a special birthday outfit and you can't find a ribbon, use digital paper and make your own ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna do a real quick hair bow. Um, it's not a boutique hair bow, it's more of a piggy bow. So let me show you how to do that real quick and um, then we'll assemble with the felty, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna make our bows and these are super simple. I have tried to learn how to make those boutique bows, the twisties and all that stuff and I'm just, so this is super simple. So I have my, my little glue gun Heating up, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is like an ironing board, silicone pad. And then I'm gonna use, I feel like I'm going to either use a covered clip or one of these little clippies. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, you could also use bigger ones, but since they're little piggy tail bows, I'm gonna use the smaller ones. And then I'm going to use some thread. Okay, so we're gonna take our thread and I'm gonna do a close up, okay? And I'm just going to, you're going to be amazed how this works, okay? So I'm going to do a quick, simple bow, and then we are going to finish it off, and it's going to be awesome, okay? Let's do it. Thank you. 
So there you have it. There are so many ways to make bows, but this is so simple and little piggy bows. Oh my gosh, I love piggy tails. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna use your sublimation printer and your border machine together to make some super cute custom bows? Let me know what, what your project's gonna be below. Um, I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you. I love the idea of combining different machines I have to make something completely custom. So you could do any kind of felty. You saw before in one of my early parts of the video, like I had a number three unicorn. Like you could do custom birthday bows to go with your outfits. You could do custom um, monogram bows, cheer bows. There's all kinds of bows you can do. And I'm just using the plain white ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you could get it from somewhere cheaper. And some felt. I mean, look how simple those were and they are adorable. So, I am so excited I got to try this with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll try to take a cute picture of my daughter wearing them so you can see exactly. You can make all different sizes, all different types of bows. This is just a particular type of bow because I'm terrible at the boutique bows. Um, but yeah, I think these are adorable. So, I will link everything I use in the description box below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit subscribe. I have so many good things planned, so you're not gonna wanna miss out. I'm gonna do lots of fun new tutorials and help give you ideas for whether you wanna make some crafts or whether you wanna add new things to your business. So, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.